Yo, what is up guys? Bringing you guys a video today here. As you guys can see from the title of the video, this is a Kareem Hunt video. So, or topic should I say. Okay, so before I say anything, I would just like to let you guys know that I am going to be bringing stuff around pop culture, stuff like that, whether it's hip-hop, social media, um, labels signing these rappers or artists, all that. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But, so, let's get straight to the topic. Kareem Hunt, man, this is no surprise to me. Why are these NFL players touching females, bro? Like, don't touch them. Like, I don't care what they say to you. Because no matter what, you're never going to win that in the court. Whether she called you the N-word, whether she started pushing you, whether this and that, you're always going to be the bad guy. And that sucks because that's not fair. Double standards, right? Yeah, okay, so that's just the way I feel about it. You know, Kareem Hunt, literally, bro, this obviously did not happen recent. It happened a couple months ago in February. So... You know, there's some stuff going on there. There's just this is just something that they happened recently. However, there's been footage of Kareem Hunt pretty much kicking her, beating her up, and the friend tried to stop him because he the friend knows like, bro, you're not gonna win this. Stop. What are you doing? Yeah. So Kareem Hunt, he just got released from the Kansas City Chiefs. Now the problem is. There's been a player named Ruben Foster that literally just had the same charge. And guess what? The Washington Redskins signed him in a heartbeat. Like fast, okay? Washington Redskins, that is not the way you show examples to other teams and even kids watching the NFL. You feel me? That is not the great way to set an example. However, I don't know. Look, Ruben Foster, man, I wish nothing but the best for you. You go out there and play ball if, you know, that's the way it is, that's the way it is. You can't really do much about it. However, going on to Kareem Hunt, do I feel like that Kareem Hunt deserves a second chance? You know, this is something that just is, isn't something that just pops up out of nowhere. This has been going on recently, especially the whole situation, uh, whole situation with Ray Rice. Yeah, Ray Rice, man, he got cut from the Ravens because you've seen the video, guys. There's been so many jokes made about Ray Rice punching the whole girl. I don't know, man. It's Kareem Hunt, what are you thinking, bro? And the worst part about it is Kareem Hunt isn't just another NFL player, okay? I'm not I'm not disrespecting no other player, but I'm simply implying the fact that you aren't just an average NFL player, you know, getting some starts, this and that. No, you're a starter. You're a beast. You're one of the best running backs the Chiefs had in a while since Jamal Charles. We're not talking about another running back. Oh, yeah, like he's barely gets starts, whatever. No, we're talking about an elite running back. Top five. Ah. <sighs> All right then. Well, what on, what 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 did we learn from this situation for Kareem Hunt? Well, obviously not to touch a female. And even if you're in the right position, guys, on paper that you kicked the girl that was pretty much weak to you, you lost. It's that fast. You lost it that fast. And as a matter of fact, you got got you got cut that fast. Now I don't want you guys in the comments thinking that I'm against or with him. No, I'm literally neutral. I'm not in this. I, I just want you guys to understand that this is, has to stop, bro. Like, these NFL athletes, bro, whether it's getting a girl pregnant, paying child support, whether it's a beating up a girl, whether it's doing this and that, blah, 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 you guys got to stop doing that. It's, I don't understand why these NFL athletes, or even rappers, too, that are in the top tier or in the prime of their life, seem to always do something so stupid. And it's so like frustrating because as fans, we're thinking like, bro, aren't you grateful? You're getting paid millions of dollars. What's the issue? Yeah, so Kareem Hunt, man, he got cut. I'm sure a team's gonna sign him within a week or two or maybe a month. And that's not, if I see any team pick him up, that's not a surprise. And I want I want to hear you guys' opinions on this whole situation. What do you feel as if that Kareem Hunt deserves? Do you feel as if he should deserve a second chance? Or do you feel as if he should completely be terminated by every NFL team in the NFL? I said that twice, my bad. But do you think he deserves to, uh, you know, have another opportunity, just like Ruben Foster did? Or do you feel as if he should take the Ray, Ray Rice way where he's completely out? Right there, you're gone. We don't care. So, again, this just sucks, man. There's been the aftermath video of the TMZ, both sides of the story. You can't believe really neither of them because they both seem to defend them like really hard. However, the girl was saying that she was trying to get home, Uber. Okay, so from what I, if I hear that, 
to me personally, it felt as if that they were associated with Kareem Hunt. Maybe they were just trying to, you know, get down in the bedroom or something like that because otherwise, why would they just be waiting outside? Particularly with Kareem Hunt. Now, he is an NFL athlete, meaning he has the money. So there's just so many situations and circumstances that make this situation even worse for Kareem Hunt. Now, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I gave my thoughts on this situation. Now, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys feel that, that went down? Do you, whose side are you on? Do you feel that, that the girl saying the N-word has a big factor into why Kareem Hunt definitely took action towards that? You know, I felt that, that this is the way I take it. If you use the N-word, be ready to face the consequences because people are really, really sensitive, guys. And, and I know that it's, it's a race thing. And I'm not condoling nobody to say that. I, I respect everybody. I have friends. You know, I always have respect for them. Whether it's that or that, this and that. Whether it's going to the house having manners, guys. But this is completely stupid. And if NFL players, you gotta stop doing that. And it's not just particularly NFL players. It's NBA players, MLB players, etc. But you never hear, oh, MLB players, blah, 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 blah. No, it's always these basketball players or these NFL players. I don't know whether it's because they have more aggression towards the sport. Because you know, guys, football players are really aggressive. And NBA players, too. They always show passion for the game. I just don't know what's the whole situation. But, you know, I don't even know if he's going to get charged. Or I, I don't even know the whole story. I did watch the aftermath. Like I said, I'll leave that in the description down below. So you guys can check it out for yourself. But that's it, guys. A whole would love to hear you guys thoughts on this whole situation and yeah guys so that's pretty much it for the video i will be bringing some new videos daily content so go ahead and leave a like and share if you want to it means a lot really appreciate it if you made it to this part of the video just know i'm on neither sides i'm completely against woman beaters and i'm completely against all that stuff you know it's just it's just frustrating seeing a star like kareem hunt go downhill because he wants to be an idiot and touch a female but that's it, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, guys, be great. Peace out.